Hi, I'm the developer of a future indie game called ShiftOS. Now ShiftOS is a game set within an experimental operating system called, you guessed it, ShiftOS. Now the aim of ShiftOS is to earn code points and use them to evolve ShiftOS from a mostly text-based command line OS with practically no programs to a fully functional, customizable and graphical operating system filled with heaps of programs. Now before playing ShiftOS, you are going to need to install the Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 from the official Microsoft website. I'll leave this link in the description. Since ShiftOS is in active development and is going to be constantly upgraded, I recommend you use the portable executable file rather than the permanent installer. Otherwise you're going to run into lots of save issues and have all these unnecessary builds and files on your computer. So use the portable version and only use the permanent install version if you just can't get this version to work. Now with all that being said, let's now run this early version of ShiftOS from the standalone executable file. Now please note that the intro you're about to see only occurs once, so next time you open the file, you'll boot directly into ShiftOS in whatever state you left it in. As you can see, the computer is now being hijacked. This is the intro for the game. And I'll just read what it says. Congratulations, you have been involuntarily selected to be an alpha tester for Shift OS. At this current point in time, I do not wish to reveal my identity or future intentions. I just need to use you and your computer as an external testbed to evolve my experimental operating system. Right now, Shift OS is practically non-existent, but I'll work on coding it remotely as you use it. Your hard drive will now be formatted in preparation for the installation of ShiftOS. Starting format. Now, what you're about to see scares a lot of people if they're not expecting it. It's saying scanning drive C. Now, it is actually scanning drive C. My drive label is Windows 7 OS. My C drive is actually 512 gigabytes. And the file system really is NTFS. And this is simulating as if it was actually installing the shift FS or shift file system, which it's not, so it's not formatting C. Do not f get frightened. Although it's a good prank to play on friends. Okay, format complete. Now it's installing shift OS alpha 0.0.1. Now, and these files are just fake, so don't worry about that. Now, just note that it's saying 0.0.1. That's the shift OS game version rather than the actual build version. So even though this is 0.3, this version will upgrade as you upgrade components in the, gr in the game yourself using code points. Now that it's installed, this is shift OS terminal running. And you can hear someone connecting. Now DevX is just going to give us a little intro, so he's the person who's making ShiftOS. Hi, my name is DevX, and you are now using an early version of my operating system, ShiftOS. Currently the terminal is open, and I am using it to communicate with you remotely. ShiftOS is going to be the most revolutionary operating system in the world that will run on every electronic device you can think of. I can't tell you much about my future plans right now, but if you can help me, then I may tell you more in future. ShiftOS is barely usable in its current state, so I need you to help me evolve it using code points. Once you acquire code points, you can use them to upgrade certain components of ShiftOS or add new software. I'll close the terminal now and send you to the blank ShiftOS desktop. You'll actually do, do that in a sec. Okay, you can open and close the terminal at any time with Control T. Watch this. See? Open and close. Once you are on the desktop, open the terminal, type help, and then press enter for a guide on using ShiftOS. Gotta run now, but I'll contact you soon to see how you are going with evolving ShiftOS for me while I work on something else. Very suspicious. Remember, press Ctrl plus T to open the terminal. And there we go. From this point on, whenever you open it, this is what you're gonna see. This blank screen. This is ShiftOS right now. There is no actual interface, there's no menu at the top, there's no nothing, right? And this is, even in the final version of Shift OS, it's going to look like this, initially. Now if you press Control T, the terminal pops up. 
So this is actually some method you can use to interact with the operating system at this early stage. Apart from when you're within a program, there's no actual graphical interface so far for Shift OS. Now what you can do is type help. And as soon as you do that, you get a bunch of information. So press Control T to open the terminal at any time. The terminal is not case sensitive, so you can use capital letters. So that means, for example, with these commands here, you see programs, right? If I type programs with a capital, it gives me information like that. Now, if I type programs again without a capital, it'll also tell me the programs that are installed on the computer. Now, what I'm going to need to do is type in clear because my screen is completely filled up. So one of the things you've noticed right now is it's not scrolling automatically. When I'm typing stuff in the terminal, let's say I type help, help, notice how it's not scrolling? You actually need to upgrade the terminal using code points, which will actually help it scroll without you having to try and use the arrow key to scroll. So right now you can scroll using the arrow key. You'll be able to upgrade Shift OS in the future so it automatically scrolls to the bottom as you type stuff, rather than having to use arrow keys to scroll up and down. There will also be a scroll bar in future to make it even easier. So anyway, let's type in clear now, because that's one of the commands. I'll type in help. Now, as you can see, these are the current commands. And when you actually upgrade Shift OS to get more commands, you'll actually see this help expand and actually show you the new commands that you unlock. So what can we do? We can list the programs that are on our computer. We can open and pr close any program that we've currently got. So you type in program, see what you've got. Then you can say like, oh, open terminal. Um, but since terminal is already open, open terminal. That won't work. Terminal is already running. And terminal, you can open and close, hiding and showing at any point, just like that, really quick. Okay, so code points, if I type in code points, it shows that I have zero code points right now, so I'm unable to upgrade any ShiftOS feature. Although in this version of ShiftOS 0.0.3, there's actually no way to actually upgrade ShiftOS. So you actually need to wait for a future version that I develop, and then there'll be some, maybe a Shift Shop or a Shiftorium, I'm still thinking of a name to call it, where it actually has upgrades. So you can actually go through, maybe get a clock command, um, and all these other commands and graphical improvements such as, okay, well let me just show you what Shift OS is now without any graphical improvements. So open programs are borderless and have no title. That means with when I'm talking about title, think you've got a window on the screen like this. Imagine you're using Windows 7. Uh, you've got a title bar at the top that you can click and drag and move around. You've got an X button on that title bar. You've got the title and you've got borders which you can use to resize the program. Programs in Shift OS initially have no borders, no titles, no X buttons or anything. In fact, to close a program, you actually have to open the terminal with Control T and type in close the program name, whatever the program name is. For example, close knowledge input, because knowledge input is a program right now in Shift OS. Now, I'm going to just clear the screen again. Oh, and before we continue, let me just show you other things. Programs that don't fit full screen will be centered with a black background. So that means if I've got a program, it'll just be in the middle of the screen and you'll see the Shift OS desktop in the background. So all programs cannot be resized at this current point and they'll only be in the middle of the screen. The idea is to make Shift OS awful, absolutely awful and something that can be upgraded in all these different ways. So the terminal currently runs full screen, as you can see, but in future you'll be able to upgrade it so it doesn't have to be full screen, so you've got a minimize button and stuff. Uh, only one program can be open at a time, excluding the terminal. None of the programs can be moved around the screen at this current point in time. And don't think that as soon as you get a title bar, you'll be able to move programs around the screen. A title bar will just be a title bar you have to do extra upgrades to upgrade that title bar to do certain things. So you'll have a title bar without an X button or without the title of a program. So it sounds pretty silly, but that's the point. You're using up code points to upgrade every single aspect. Initially, window movement may not even be title bar movement, like clicking and dragging the title bar. You may actually have to type uh, program location, then give X, Y coordinates, and you'll be able to move programs on the screen. There's no multitasking now, so anytime you try and open a new program, it'll close all other programs. You can upgrade to allow multitasking. Okay, and... Another big thing, only black and white can be displayed on the screen. No programs can use any other colour. 
except for scroll bars because Windows is stupid with its development environment that doesn't allow you to customise scroll bars without doing extreme hacking. Anyway, the whole point is black and white is only available. You have to upgrade to get more colours. So first of all, you upgrade to get grey. Then you upgrade again to get different shades of grey. So you can go all the way from pure white to pure black with all shades of grey and then slowly get shades of blue and green and other colours over time. And there will even be a program that you can use to up to modify the system yourself. So you can choose what's the desktop background colour going to be. And eventually it will be gradients and you'll be able to change the title bars, the text colour. Everything about Shift OS will be customised the way you want it. With The program that you use to upgrade Shift OS is actually going to be called Shifter. So it's a very suitable name because Shifter, what do you want to do? I want to shift Shift OS the way I want to shift it, if you know what I mean. I'm just going to type in clear. We're going to type in programs. And as you can see, there are two programs currently installed. Now, this is a way we're going to earn some code points. We've got the terminal, which is a text-based command line interface that allows you to type commands to run programs and manage your computer. And we've also got knowledge input, which is a game that rewards code points when you list enough words within a category such as fruits. So for example, let's open knowledge input. I type in open. Remember, I can use capitals or no capitals. It's all OK, but I don't bother with capitals. Open knowledge input. Now, as you can see, the screen is black and white, completely black and white. There is no other things. And it's centered, black background, center program. Your goal in this game is to list as many words as possible from a certain category of objects such as animals. Start off on level one, and your goal is to list 10 words to reach the next level. Upon reaching each new level, you'll be rewarded with an increasing amount of code points. Um, and then you select a category on the left to start playing. Now, as you can see, there's no way to resize the windows, there's no way to move around the windows. Eventually, there'll be a way to use the arrow keys to move windows around. So you click a window, then use arrow keys to move it up and down and stuff. There's no title bar, no X button, no nothing. So this is how it starts off. Everything is centered, and clicking on the desktop background will just make the program flash for a second. So animals, countries, and fruits. Let's go, for example, in animals. So as you can see, there are many animals out there. Can you list them all? Note that you get points for listing animals, not animal breeds. Just list animals as animals. Don't think um, Indian cow or Chinese chicken. I don't even know if those are real animals. Chinese chicken is, but I'm not sure about Indian cow. So just go dog, cat, frog, pig. And as you can see, as you list each word, you can click submit word or you can press enter. You see them all listed here. So dog, cat, frog, pig. Words until next level six. Words guessed four out of 226 animals. So you can imagine there's going to be about, yeah, there would be 20, 22 levels since every 10 words you get a new level. Reward for completing level one is five code points. So that's an instant five code points if you can list some more animals. So let's go horse, uh, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Um, boar and crab, because I live by the beach. Okay, level up, you will earn five code points. So if I type in code points, I've just typed control T, code points, you have five code points. And I can switch between the desktop with this program and the terminal with control T. Unfortunately, there's that annoying window sound, but what can you do about that? Now, I can keep typing more words in animals. I can go, you know, what does a fox say? <laughs> okay, there's fox, and I can keep going, and it'll track my progress. And if I switch to fruits, you can see it instantly switches me back to level one in fruits because I haven't listed any fruits. Um, and then back to animals, there we go. And there's countries. All of these are automatically saved. You can press quit, or you can type close knowledge input to quit this. And as you can see, I've put fruits as 10 code points for level 1 rather than just 5 code points because I think it's a bit harder to list fruits than it is to list animals. And same with countries too, so I've done that as 10 code points. Now, the amount of code points you earn is as follows. For level 1, the base code points was 5. Level 2, it's 10. Level 3, it's 15. So basically, it's the base code points times the current level. So if the current level was 10, 5 times 10 is 50, so if you get to level 10, you'd get 50 code points for completing level 10. But countries, however, level 10 here, would be 100 code points. So, you know, you'd want to try and list the countries, but I suck with this. Look, Australia, uh, New Zealand, United 
States, United, I can't even spell United Kingdom, Dom, and that's about all I can list, so I don't even get any code points for that. So as you can see, it isn't easy, but if you're really smart with this, if you can list fruits, if you're like, oh yeah, I'm good at fruits, apple, pear, banana, star, fruit, which is actually a f real fruit, by the way, and if you can just list all this, pine, apple, water, melon, rock, melon, oh, can I do three, oh, rock, melon, there we go, uh, rock, melon, oh, I can't think of any more fruits, but if you can list all these fruits, your code points will stack up, and that's that. Let's just see if I can finish this, uh, rock, melon, is melon a fruit? Yes, melon is a fruit. I just can't think of any other fruit. This is bad. Uh, I can think of vegetables, potato, carrot, you know, but I can't think of two more fruit. And there's 76 fruits, so this is embarrassing. Oh, right, grape, grape. That's another one. Grape. And if I can think of one more, I really can't. Oh, mango. There we go. Level up. Okay, I earn 10 code points. As you can see, code points... And it's 15 now, because I've got the 5 from the animals and the 10 from this. And you could keep on going, and I'm sure you could earn hundreds of code points, but I really suck at this. And I know I programmed it, but I still suck at it. So, if you want to shut down Shift OS and save progress, you just type in shut down. Uh, one word or two words, it doesn't matter. So shut down. System is shutting down right now. It's actually saving progress. And then you're back to the desktop. Now, when you get back into the game, watch this. You are on the desktop. Press Control T. There we go. And type in code points. Everything is saved. Open knowledge input. Boom. And all the animals and f fruits and stuff you remembered, it's all saved. So feel free at any time to type shut down, and you were done. Anyway, I hope you like my idea and concept of Shift OS with this evolving operating system. And trust me, it's got a little bit of a storyline there that you'll find out about Shift OS being a little more than just an operating system. It kind of becomes its own entity, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I'm not going to give any spoilers. You'll just have to find out yourself by playing and following the development. So remember, 0.0.3 isn't much, but see if it runs on your computer. Tell me if you find any bugs, and tell me what you think about the concept of Shift OS. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.